I've shown off the 600 grit and the 1K Pride Abrasive already. The 1K stone came from one of my viewers, Yvonne, aka Dom. The 1K was a really fantastic stone. I was really impressed with that one. So I decided to purchase a few more. Uh, I ordered a three stone setup from Amazon. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was something like a 220, 1K, 6K. Uh, whatever it was, the order came back within like 24 hours saying it was canceled. Well, I didn't cancel it, so I was confused. When I started digging into it, it turns out the Amazon store where I bought it from no longer had the three stone set up in stock. I've been emailing Spencer Best at Pride Abrasives a few times and we already had a communication going. Um, if you don't know who Spencer is, he, he and his family own and operate Pride Abrasives in Wisconsin. After I got the uh, order canceled, he made mention that if I wanted a bright mirror polish, I should definitely check into their 10K stone. Well, that particular stone, of course, was not part of my original order. So I decided to just choose piecemeal and pick exactly what I wanted instead. What I decided to do was just grab the 600 grit stone to start with, and then I'd work my way through their grit levels and determine how each one behaved. In all honesty, I did not give this stone high praise. That was a mistake on my part because for whatever reason, I had it in my head, the stone was gonna behave like Shapton glass and not like every other lower grit stone I've ever used. I made mention of that in my video about how the stone had a hard density, uh, but it was friable, so it had some soft feel to it. In defense of the stone, there are many, many friable stones that I enjoy. The Sahira Cerex 700 grit, the Sahira Chemical 320, Shapton Pro 320, even the Nanowa Pro 600. So the idea of a low grit stone that is super hard is unrealistic. I can only think of the Shapton glass in terms of water stones that has such a characteristic. You know, of course, oil stones behave that way and that might actually be where my mindset came from. I was using the Kyoto 150 oil stone along with the pride stones so I, my brain was kind of comparing apples to oranges. Well, Spencer saw my video and he and his family took it upon themselves to send me their entire sharpening stone lineup. That speaks volumes for a company to put their product in the public eye in the hands of someone who wasn't drooling over their initial impression it takes courage. Um, I'm telling all this information to you guys to come to the point that even though they sent me all these stones free of charge, everything I find out about them will be honest. Just because a characteristic of a stone may not be something I personally like doesn't mean it may not be something you like. Everyone has their own opinions on how sharpening stones should behave and what they like personally sharpening on. Me, I like hard, dense stones that are non-friable. My buddy Max is the exact opposite. He likes traditional, soft, muddy stones. So there's something out there for everyone, and that's the beauty of sharpening. We have so many choices nowadays. Um, you know, we've got water stones, oil stones, muddy stones, diamonds. I appreciate the opportunity Pride has given me here. Um, we're going to start out with, of course, just one knife, and that's not going to give us an overall picture of how each stone behaves or its potential, but it'll give us a place to start from. I'm going to start with the Benchmade Mini Griptilian and 154CM Steel, and we are going to take it through this entire stone lineup from 220 grit all the way to 10K. So if you're interested, stick around. We're going to talk about them. So this is the 220. I've had the stone soaking for about 30 minutes or so. And this is the Benchmade Mini Grip we're going to sharpen. Again, 154 CM.
Now this is the 400 grit. I did lap the tops of the surface and I'm going to do that with all of the stones before I use them just so I know there's no coating on the outside that would inhibit abrasion. Next up, we got the 600 grit. Now I've shown this stone off in a couple other videos. This is a very fast stone. This is the 1K stone. This is the 3000 grit. First impressions, it feels very much like the Nanawa Pro 3K. It's just got a little more of a gritty feel to it, but the softness that the Nanawa Pro 3K has, as well as the density, is there. So is the smoothness and the feedback. So here we are with the 6000 grit. It's got a really creamy texture. This one also reminds me of the Nanawa Pro 3K. It's got the same texture, the same feel, a little bit harder, feels a little more dense, but very, very similar to the Nanawa, 3, Nanawa Pro 3K. This is the 8000 grit. A hard stone very hard stone it's a uh, this reminds me of my Shapton Pro 2000 grit I like it I like the way it feels this is the final stone 10,000 grit I did enjoy the 8k just wish it produced a little bit more polish. So let's see what we get out of this final stone. Super hard stone. This reminds me of the Captain Pro 5K. Very hard very bright finish too. This I think is going to be on par with the Shapton Pro 5, maybe 8K in terms of polish. So tonight we are going to strop with the knives plus strop block with white compound.
So here is the strut bevel. This took a really nice polish, it really did. Going through all those stones helped, obviously. One oh seven. Ninety. Doing the average came out to ninety four. Some overall thoughts and impressions on these stones after my first use. Uh, the 220, very porous. Water just goes right through it. Uh, it is a very fast stone, as you would expect any 220 grit stone to be. It is friable, and the grit that comes off is sandy. It has a sandy texture. It's not like a super muddy stone. It's it's just a sandy, gritty kind of release. The 400 grit was weird. That stone felt like a glazed oil stone that had not been conditioned. It's not friable either. I mean, very little grit was released from it. I think the scratch pattern on the 400 grit was actually finer than the 600 grit because of that. I did a little comparison on my own just looking at the 400 versus the 600 microscope pictures and it kind of shows that so I may do a separate video comparing those stones just together and and figure out if you know maybe I got a lemon on that side or if that's just how that stone behaves the 600 grit I've used before I've talked about it before it's a little more friable of course than the 400 uh, it's fast you can really feel it biting the steel and you feel it abrading it. it leaves a nice toothy edge if I were cutting fibrous material that would really be a nice grit to leave it at it works with very little pressure the 1k is the same it's an excellent stone it's got a little friability but low pressure and it just does what it's supposed to do. Now I've talked about the 1K as well in other videos, so if you want you know, a deeper opinion of it, check those out. The 3K had a creamy feel. Once we got above 3K, none of the stones were really friable. It left a matte finish. Sharpening on the stone itself felt really nice. It was very pleasurable to use. The 6K was where we started to see a little bit of a polish shine through. It still had a matte finish, but some of the luster was starting to peek out. It had the same texture as the 3K Nanawa. It's harder than the Nanawa Pro. And of course the grit rating is coarser than what you'll see on Japanese water stones. I don't know what grit scale they use, but they are definitely coarser than what you will see in, say, Shapton Pro. The 8K, again, coarser grit than the rating states, at least in my opinion. I don't know why they're using the grit rating they are, but when I hear 8K, I start thinking mirror polish. Now, the polish did start to peek out even more on the stone. You could start to see a luster. And if you were to take your knife to a strop after that stone, I have no doubts that it would start producing a pretty bright polish. Uh, this one was also very hard. Reminded me of the Shapton Pros. This is actually where it started to get in the really hard range. And then by the time we get to the 10K, very hard. Started giving you a mirror polish. Uh had very little steel removal. 
which means that stone is really fine. I think the longer you spend on it, probably the better polish you can get out of it. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.